Hey, welcome to Think Creative TV. My name is Matt Pullen and I am your host for all things iPad in the classroom. Please, if you haven't already subscribed, tap on the subscribe button here and you can get up to date information on all of my new videos. Let's get stuck into one now. Hey, so in this video, we're going to take a look at how to create an infinite loops clips video. Now, I have watched the Today Apple session around this and I strongly urge you to go to that. The You can find the link in the description below. It's such a good demonstration. But I thought as I've been putting together some sort of Clips Magic videos and you can see rest of those in our Clips playlist, I thought we'd have a go at putting together a how-to for the Infinite Loops as well. So I'm going to go in and I've already created uh, or, or filmed some clips already. So here we go. This was uh, last night actually cooking our dinner. If I go into the trim section, you'll see there's a whole you know video here. And the basic process is, uh, you know, you film something and then you move the camera down so that the the camera is actually pointed at a surface so that it blacks it all out. And then you can see here as I bring it back up, you can see that's that's all the video is. And then the process is really thinking about getting that trim point to a really good changeover. So if I tap trim there, you see in my second clip here, what I've done, if I go back into trim, and again, there's a, there's a longer clip, is I've started at that point of the camera being blocked. And I've brought it up. I've shown something has changed. In this case, the lettuce and the cucumber have already been chopped up, so that's the magic. And if you want to make this a continuous loop, you do the same effect back down to the blacked out point or, or whatever colour it ends up being and tap trim. And then I've continued to do this. This was last night's cooking our meal. So you'll see here that all I need to do here is trim this again to the point where it starts to come up. So we'll go to there. And again at the end, trim as we go back down to that point where we just hit the cardboard tap trim and repeat okay it's as simple as this just keep repeating find that point of movement so we'll go to here and again this is the the food being cooked or being prepared so we'll go down and you probably want it to be quite a quick transition that's the way you're going to get the magic from so you don't want to be sort of delaying too long on the the blocked out image that you've got of the camera because you really want this to be quite a quick motion so that you don't you know, spend too long realizing that you're being fooled. So there we go, so that's our, our clips. The next thing I'm gonna do is make sure all of the clips are muted because the sound sometimes, you know, that's the giveaway element. And let's just take a look at what that looks like then. So you get the basic idea, it's just a simple process of going through the different clips in order to create that instant effect that looks like as soon as your camera has touched the surface and popped back up, something else has changed. So have a go, please do look at the Today Apple sessions, there's some really, really fun ideas in there of how you could do this uh, with friends and family, just getting everyone to copy the same sort of motion. Um, but share what you've created. It really is just a fun activity to play around with. 